Hey there, welcome to episode two of Isekai Fantasy League with me, Natalie Hunter, author of Lewd Harem Trash Books and General Degenerate Weeaboo. If you missed episode one, where we filled the roster spot for Best Deviant Girl with either the sadist Elsa Graniot or the masochist Darkness, then there's a link in the description. But for your reference moving forward, my pick on that one was Darkness. But now, in the second in this series on choosing a team for your Isekai adventure, based on weird categories of characters from ReZero and Konosuba, it's time to fill the role of resident flamboyant weirdo. Our choices here are both as eccentric and weird as they are powerful, with Roswell L. Mathers, one of the strongest mages in ReZero, and Veneer, former general of the Demon King and Duke of Hell. But which one will be joining the party? These are both characters who are going to be different to think about depending at what point in the stories we take them from. So to keep things even, I'm going to compare them as Veneer is at the end of the current anime canon of Konosuba, which is two seasons and the movie, and as Roswell is at the end of arc 4 of ReZero, which will be two seasons and a couple of OVAs. This means that there are some middleweight spoilers for season 2 of ReZero mixed in here, so turn back until season 2 is aired if you're avoiding them. The current veneer is no longer a general working for the Demon King and his affiliation is really with Wiz, working in her shop where he's friendly with the locals and showing some pretty solid commerce skills. Roswell is no longer guided by his gospel, though he is still obsessed with bringing his teacher Echidna back and doesn't know that that has actually already happened. Echidna might just end up in the party later, but we'll hand wave that. It's really just so we can know what Roswell's going to act like in general if we team up with him. So, now it's time to compare the two on their various strengths and weaknesses, and the first category we're going to be looking at is combat strength. Both of these guys have incredible combat strength, and it'd actually be a whole video in itself to predict who'd win in a fight between the two, so I'll keep it shorter here, as they're not going to actually have to fight each other in order to be chosen for our party. They don't want to team up with us that badly. Their offensive capabilities haven't truly been seen in either series yet either, but going on the lore, Veneer is potentially even stronger than Konosuba's Demon King himself, though we haven't seen what the Demon King can do yet, so it's hard to really derive that much from that. He has a great range of powers he can use in combat, including his Veneer-type death ray, his mind-reading abilities, and his ability to create and command dolls made of earth. Roswell, on the other hand, can use all six types of magic that exist in ReZero, as well as actually combining them into other forms, something exceptionally rare in that setting. While Roswell was defeated in combat by the Warlock of Melancholy, Hector, that was 400 years ago, and he's definitely levelled up since. Hector's own strength notwithstanding, he still didn't actually manage to kill the original Roswell. Roswell even believes himself capable of killing the Dragon Volcanica, which, well, to be fair, we don't know if he thinks he can do it alone, and whether his plan is to kill him in a straight battle or with some kind of sneaky sneak murder plan, but author Tape Nagatsuki has said that actually he wouldn't be able to beat Volcanico in a fight, only Reinhardt would. Though Roswell is ranked as strong enough to take down the White Whale by himself, and about equal in strength to Puck in his true form, with them tied at fifth in overall strength out of the characters we've already seen in the ReZero anime. This would seem to suggest that Veneer might just be slightly stronger, though either of them adds overwhelming offensive capabilities to your team. But when it comes to defence, that's when things get interesting. Roswell has been alive for as long as he has because he can transfer his soul into his own descendants, but this kind of premeditated immortality is more to keep him in the world to work towards his ultimate goal of reviving his former teacher, the Witch of Greed, rather than to avoid him being killed in a fight. Current Roswell doesn't have any descendants that we know of yet, and given this generation of Roswell will also be the one likely to see his overall goal accomplished, he's probably seeing his current form as his last iteration. This Roswell, then, isn't really immortal. In fact, he will also let himself die quite easily if he loses interest in life. He knows about Subaru's return by death ability, and that means he can lose the will to live quite easily, entrusting everything to another version of himself in a different timeline Subaru alone will visit. Unless you're Subaru, that isn't a lot of help. Even if you do pick Subaru for your party in the upcoming Subaru v Chasma round, it's not like you get to go back in time with him. You would just have a dead Roswell and a dead Subaru in your timeline if this happens. 
Veneer, on the other hand, has an almost unbeatable defensive ability, which is that his true body is stored safely away in hell. So he can just generate a new humanoid body to go around with whenever he's destroyed. For both offensive and defensive combat abilities then, Veneer wins, though it's defensively where he really outshines Roswell. Now we're going to look at who would be better to have around in your team. These guys are both entertaining to watch, but undoubtedly the kind of people who'd get on your nerves if you actually had to put up with them all the time. Though you do get all the fun of having someone who seems like a dodgy flamboyant clown around without them actually being interested in molesting you, which is better than having the daddy of the flamboyant weirdos, Hisoka from Hunter Hunter in your party, so there is that. What really needs to be considered here is who's going to cause the biggest problems in your group as a result of their personalities or motivations. We're taking Roswell post-Arc 4, so he's without his gospel, and that means he shouldn't be trying to cause any particular problems for you, or manipulate you into doing things based on his own secret plans. But he's still someone who spent 400 years acting towards one goal in a ruthlessly single-minded way. It might not be easy to rope him into whatever isekai malaki you and the rest of your party want to pursue, and so he could become that annoying party member you have to come up with ways to persuade every single time you want to do something. Veneer, on the other hand, doesn't present that problem, but he does have the trait of basically feeding off of other people's negative emotions. It's not the kind of thing that's going to be devastating to your party, given he isn't really interested in truly debilitating feelings like despair, but he does love to make people relive their more embarrassing and shameful moments, and basically revel in the resulting cringing. As an example of the kind of thing he likes, if you have Subaru in your team, and we will be choosing between him and Kazuma in a later episode as I said, then rather than making Subaru relive all of the many, 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 many moments of suffering and genuine despair within his memories, Veneer would instead just love to make him remember that time he made a complete ass of himself in court, or some of the really simpy things he's said to Amelia. Now, at the moment, our party only has one other member. If you chose Darkness, like me, then causing her shame and humiliation is... Well, she likes it. And she's already been possessed by Veneer once anyway, so she knows what's up. If you chose Elsa, then... Well, she doesn't really seem to be someone who feels shame at all. And so the worst that would happen would be her deciding she wanted to see a demon's bowels and dissecting him. Which he'd come back from just fine, so... You're probably alright either way. Whichever one of these guys you choose, they're going to have the social status and affiliations they do at the point in either ReZero or Konosuba that we're taking them from, and are also going to be bringing with them any non-combat skills that they've exhibited in their respective canon. Roswell then offers quite a lot here. He's highly respected as a margrave, owns tons of mansions and other land you can use for yourself, and has a bunch of quirky servants and relatives to keep you amused. He's also about as well connected as a person can be, meaning you can get introductions to all of the important people in your new world, and he can help you to get embroiled in all kinds of intrigues if you want that to be the kind of adventure you're having. Veneer, on the other hand, well, you would have to keep all of his past involvements with basically the universal enemy of everyone else in the world, the Demon King, a secret. At the point in Konosuba we're taking him from, he's working with Wiz, who is also formerly a general of the Demon King, in her shop, keeping his existence low-key. This means his social status is vastly lower than Roswell's when it comes to major political figures, but he does have some solid connections when it comes to business and commerce at this point, and he has been shown to pretty much excel at being a merchant. He's trying to improve Wiz's ridiculously inept running of the shop by training her with his death ray, and he's been shrewd in his dealings with Kazuma, bringing new inventions to the world, but also paying Kazuma fairly, and keeping his access to future innovations open. As an interesting aside, the whole bringing inventions from Japan into the Isekai world thing Kazuma and Venera are doing wouldn't really work in the setting of ReZero, given ReZero has a whole country called Kararagi, which was founded by a mysterious man known as Hoshin of the Wastes, who was almost certainly an isekai person like Subaru and which already has a lot of Japanese stuff in its culture, including its architecture, its food, and the people there even speak with a Kansai dialect, as we see with the character Anastasia in season one of the anime. But we're not going to worry too much about the setting, and assume this is all happening in a general fantasy world, so we'll assume Veneer would still, in this hypothetical situation, 
bring with him the opportunities for making a lot of money very easily by bringing ideas over from the real world. Really then, you can end up being rich whoever you choose here, either by freeloading off of the stuff Roswell already owns, or having Veneer's enterprising skills gain you money for just, like, pretending you invented stuff. It more depends whether you would prefer having Roswell's access to high-level figures, which comes at the cost of him being famous in the land and expected to ally with certain people and take certain positions on matters, or Veneer's access to both the commercial world and the world of, well, the baddies, which comes at the cost of having to keep it on the down low that you have someone from the most hated faction in the world on your side. They're both going to lead to interesting things, so it's really all about what type of adventures you want to have in Isekai land, and that will help you choose which one's background is going to be more helpful. This is a much harder choice than Elsa v Darkness was for me, because neither of these guys have huge downsides. Though an earlier Roswell with the gospel certainly would. Veneer is only evil in a fun way, and Roswell might be a complicated guy, but it's not likely to affect you too negatively. Their upsides are both great too, and while Veneer has the edge when it comes to being unkillable, times when you're fighting something that could kill either of them in the first place are going to be few. All that said, I'm choosing Veneer. He pairs nicely with Darkness, and I think he'd just be easier to trust than Roswell, as well as having the kind of psychic-based abilities that are always going to offer some interesting strategies. I'd be happy to have either of these guys on my team though, and it definitely won't be boring no matter who you choose. So, let me know in the comments which character you would pick to fill the flamboyant weirdo slot on your roster and why, and please subscribe so you don't miss later episodes in this series, which will include Chasm of Subaru, as well as combinations I don't want to spoil yet, featuring some of the most popular characters from each series. This is a very new channel, so I really appreciate any love you want to give it in the form of, you know, smashing the like and subscribe buttons and commenting with what you think about the content. As always, I'm going to end with a quick plug for my books. I'm mainly an author who's just taken to doing the Anitube thing for fun. They're all available on Amazon and free to Kindle Unlimited subscribers, and they are definitely anime inspired, though they're also very much on the steamy side, so only check them out if you're an adult and into that sort of thing. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again soon.